Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, Saab 900 T16 Ruby um, that's uh, lurking behind me. As you can see, one walk around video, one driving video, uh, plus a bit of uh, underbonnet action from both of them. Hope you like the videos. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, rather rare. I haven't had one of these before. I've had a few uh, 900 turbos over the years, but never a Ruby. Um, this is one of the 150 cars that was produced to uh, celebrate the end of classic 900 production. Uh, Saab 900 T16 Ruby edition, uh, five-speed manual. Um, finished in Ruby red <laughs> uh, with the special um, half leather interior. Uh, the pewter wheels and everything. Well, I think they're possibly slightly wider than standard wheels on this one. They're, they're 195R16 um, tires, so maybe slightly wider than standard. Um, I'm not overly familiar with the, uh, with the 900 Ruby spec, apart from the color and the interior. Uh, obviously, it does come with that plate. Um, it's also got uh, auxiliary um, driving lights and fog lights, I think, under the bumper. Um, headlamp wash wipe as always uh, body cut co body colored bumpers the ruby didn't come with a body kit though uh, with the aero body kit which is correct it's got sliding sunroof that works electric windows they work uh, central locking doesn't but it's no great hardship you can always lean across and uh, shut the passenger door um, it's got a twin exhaust system on it. I don't know if that's a standard fit on a Ruby, I'm afraid. Somebody, I'm sure somebody will tell me. And it's got the extra deep Carlson whale tail spoiler, which again, I don't think was a standard fit. I think they had the shorter spoiler from, from, uh, from the factory, but uh, I'm sure a Saab aficionado will set me right on that front. No, I am a Saab aficionado, but uh, not, to, uh, not to that extent. Um, inside we have, as I say, the correct, half leather half cloth interior um, it's got a modern radio cd in it has got air conditioning but we're advised by the previous owner that doesn't work but mirrors windows sunroof everything all do function um, unusually for a classic 900 the headlining is good Anyway, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Sadly, it's just started to rain. So uh, <laughs> as soon as I, we've cleaned it and got it out, it started to rain. This one has also got cruise control, but um, I haven't taken it out yet. So, uh, or, or rather, I haven't taken it out to try the cruise control. So we'll have to try that when we get out. <coughs> so, um, sorry about the rain spots, as I say, but uh, it's rather annoying. It, I'm sure it has been repainted at some point in its life because the paint is really pretty good for uh, for one that's coming up to 30 years old it's 28 years old now i did notice you can't see it so much in in the rain here but there is a chip on the bonnet just there and i did notice a slight blemish towards the front of the bonnet down here somewhere um, not major but it is there under our sort of harsh arc lights all around the front end looks pretty good around there these are susceptible to bumpers being rubbed but this one looks pretty good from there um, looking down the near side, looks very, very straight and tidy down there. Wheels and tyres and stuff look in good shape, all four of them. Uh, up here around the scuttle, all looks to be good. The screen itself, difficult to see any tiny chips because of the rain spots on it now, but uh, there's no big cracks or big chips as far as I can see. Um, the roof is all nice near side door on the outside we've got a little bit of touching in that's just been done there just down by the, uh, the swage trim that's about it looking inside it in the near side door the door card is all nice there's some rust coming through there on the base of the uh, base of the passenger door Looks like someone's tried treating that in the past. Um, as I say, inside, pretty good shape really. As I say, headlining is excellent, including on the sunroof. Passenger seats in good shape, carpets are nice, dash is nice, the dash top isn't badly cracked. It looks to be pretty good in there. Um, let's have a look at any door drop 
no, no door drop on the passenger side. Um, near side rear wing is all pretty good. Small chip just there. Um, again, wheels look nice. Around the back end, the electric aerial does work incidentally, it comes on when you turn the stereo on. Uh, we've got a chip down there on the near side rear bumper corner. A little bit of discoloration on the uh, chrome trim along there. But the boot itself all looks good. As does the spoiler. And the inside of the lid all looks to be in relatively good order. Looking down the offside, again, looks very straight and tidy down there. Um, small mark on the fuel filler cap. So it's a couple of chips here and there really. Driver's door, again, small chip just there. Offside front wing, a couple of chips there on the bonnet. Um, that's a bit of dirt. It's just a bit of dirt, uh, but a little bit of paint loss just there on the edge of the, uh, the valance. Um, on its side looks okay. Oh, tiny bubble just there. You can see it on the video, just on the bonnet edge. And then in here, let's look at this driver's door first of all. Driver's door bottom door card all nice and say so the bottom hasn't isn't like the passenger one um, driver's seat the usual bit of um, wear in the leather right down the very base of the seat there and a little bit of the cloth has gone just there as well but it is done has done 179,000 miles so only to be expected really so there we have it I love these absolutely love them anyway um my name is simon you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information right we'll just show you start up an engine running on this uh, 1993 saab 900 t16 s ruby warning lights come on A little bit of throttle, starts nicely. It's fairly warm at the moment, as you can see from the temperature gauge. I've just been out for a nice run in it. Uh, the light on the top right is the uh, handbrake light, which uh, if I take the handbrake off, it goes out. But we do need the handbrake on. Um, right, let's get out without moving the camera too much and show you the engine. It's only the second time we've tried this. It's a bit easier than the BMW I did yesterday. That's what, excuse me if the... Uh, screen goes a bit wavy for a moment so here we are and also we can look at things like inner wings and stuff not the most spectacular sounding engine at idle but uh, that's what they are Go around the other side. Now this one's got the red, the red box APC, as the um, Ruby is supposed to have. There you have it. Gives rather more performance. So there we go. side in a wing and stuff over here. Look inside the bonnet. Bit of corrosion someone's tried to treat on the uh, offside of the bonnet there. But yeah, there you have it.